Got another day of YouTube video going on. We're going to talk about the 200 breaststroke today. We have Julie here. She swims uh, breaststroke. She swims actually all the strokes, but uh, her favorite is breaststroke. And I know a lot of you guys that swim with me are looking for some more breaststroke tips. And Julie's going to give it all out today. So we're going to watch her 200 breaststroke at the college finals at GMAC. And uh, Teague is back there too. And uh, we're just going to go through her 200 race. She's going to give tips and hints and all that kind of stuff. We'll go through her starts and her turns and all that good stuff. So Julie can introduce herself, and then we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so I'm Julie. I'm a junior at Albright College. Um, I swim breaststroke and uh, distance freestyle as well. And I've been swimming since I was four years old, so it's been a really, really long time. But... I picked up breaststroke a few years ago, so, yeah. Cool. How long did you say you swam for? Um, 17 years now. Oh, wow. God. Yeah. 17 years. How'd you get started Whatever, swimming? Yeah. What other sports did you play? Um, I did basketball for a while, and then it got to the point in high school where I had to, you know, choose between – the two because they're both winter sports so I went with swimming and then uh I did softball for a little bit too ah, and that's where you met Teague right on the Albright swim team yep yay Teague yay Teague uh, anyway all right so um this is Julie's 200 breaststroke she is right here right let me make my yep. thing bigger yeah so this is Julie here in the black cap and every swimmer that I know really their main question is, what are you thinking about before you race? Like five minutes before you race and the, the heat in front of you is racing and you're kind of just standing there getting psyched up. What do you do? What do you think about? What's going through your mind? And are you nervous? Are you confident? And that kind of stuff. Well, um, I mean, typically I have a really big problem with psyching myself out. And so right before this race, my coach kind of pulled me aside and he was like, you know what, like, you just need to let it all go, get it all out of your head and just be confident in what you've done all year and let loose, basically. And uh, typically I'll like stretch a little bit or I'll like clap my hands or my arms and stuff. And I'll listen to music like a hundred before I get up on the block. So that, that usually makes me feel better before a race. Do you feel better when you swim against people that you know, like your friends, or do you feel better when you don't know anybody in the race? Um, actually, I feel better when I know who I'm swimming against because I know what their patterns are and whatnot. Usually, if it's someone that you don't know, it's kind of unpredictable what they're going to do. But you also have to remember that, you know, they're thinking the same thing about you. So Cool. And then the next big question that the little kids, because they're just starting to transition from 100 to 200s. So they usually want to know if there's a strategy that you need for the 200 breaststroke or it's just an all-out sprint? Like, do you consider the 200 breaststroke a distance event, like Teague's, or do you consider it just an all-out, let me just go as fast as I can, all eight laps? Um, I mean, when switching from the 100 to the 200, like, for me, I'm personally worse at the 100 because the pace with your arms is so much faster. So I guess in the 200, I'd consider it more of a mid or a longer distance event because you're going to see it in a second. But I glide a lot in the first hundred yeah. and then i kind of just take it out the rest of the way so yeah. so all you swimmers that that tegan i coach that's what we talk to you about when you guys are transitioning into the 200 i'm really glad julie mentioned that um we got to start gliding a little bit more in the 200s and the 100 is really an all-out sprint so it's as fast as you can go in the 200 it's twice as long so a little bit more glide is going to give you more power and it's going to save some of your energy so all right so, Julie, you want to just let this play out first, and then we'll go through it? Or how do you want to yeah. do it? Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. All right. So, Julie's right here again. Cracking my neck. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Look at how focused you are. You look good. Well, everybody's yeah, pretty no, focused. It was, it was my. It was our last, last event of the meet, so very nervous. I'm tired. This is like a three-day meet, right? four this year so yeah. wow so julie's yeah. in the green suit here we go not bad 
bad. I do always tell my swimmers to lean forward, though. I know my, our coaches try and fix it, but that's just what I've been doing. I try, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> so right here, you're in lane four right here, right? This is your lane? Yes. Can you see my mouse? One, two, yeah. three, four. Yeah, that's lane four. Uh, the one next to it. I'm below. Oh, right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're in first place already? Woo! Yeah, this was an interesting race. I wasn't expecting it, honestly. What were you expecting about it? Uh, you'll see in a bit, but I, I think I win by like nine seconds or something and then oh, wow. would have ended up being fourth in the event as well if I swam better in the morning and a final. So. Gotcha. Guys, if you notice, though, see how low she stays in the water with her turns? She's on the wall, she's off the wall in less than a second. And she's using the walls to her advantage. She's got really long pulls. She's throwing her chin out when she does her when she's doing her shoot out into her streamline. Looks good. Thank you. So when you're going into your your fifth lap here, are you starting to get tired? Like do you feel it in your shoulders or your legs or like what's happening right now? I mean, typically. I like, well, I try to not take it out so fast in the first hundred, so I won't feel too, too bad. It's usually around like seven or eight where my legs start going numb. But in this one, I had noticed that everyone was kind of way behind me, so I just shot off. Yeah, they really, really are. That looks awesome. And your, yeah, your stroke still looks the same. And I love how you throw your head forward. Your head and your hands get thrown forward as you're kicking your feet all the way around. And it's hard to see your feet, though, but I'm sure your feet come all the way together every single time you do your breaststroke kick. Yeah, I try to do that all the time. Just maximizes how much power gets put into the kick. And your turns look exactly the same. So do you start feeling it in your lungs, too? Like, are you starting to breathe heavier now? or? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the breathing is, is the worst part, only because you're, you're up for, you know, so long. So it gets really repetitive and you don't get to, you know, take a full breath in or full breath out. So definitely hurting in the lungs, yeah. but you killed it on that. My God. Yeah. That's thank awesome. You. Wow. That's really good. Look, see how tired you look. So guys, when yeah. she gets done with her race, I guarantee when your head goes back like that, look yeah. at how tired she is. Even she won by like what? Eight, nine, 10 seconds. And you went all out and you're that tired that you're, you know, I tell my swimmers that you have to feel like you got hit by a train when you get done, even with a 50. You have to yeah. be completely, completely exhausted. So when you get done, does John, the head coach, come over and talk to you? Or, or I'm sure he's there, right? Somewhere yeah, over here? Yeah, well, typically, um, because, like, well, usually we'll have someone else. Or actually, right after this, I think we had a, another relay, which I was in. So we kind of just, like, go over to him and let him talk to us. Um, I mean, he was, well, in prelims, my cap had broken right before the heat and like, I was crying. I was so upset because it was right before I was supposed to get up on the block and it kind of like messed up my mentality a little bit. Um, so after that had happened, now that like the heat was good and I had a good race, he was like, you know, like that's, that's what you have to do. You just have to forget about it. And you know, be yeah. confident in yourself yeah. and do what you can do. Yeah. All right. So let's go through it. Maybe we'll spend like another, I don't know, like maybe five or six minutes because our videos have been going a long time lately. So we'll cut this one a little shorter. But anyway, so right here. So you're you're trying to get away from that leaning back kind of thing? Yeah, because I mean – one of our assistant coaches is always like, you're the last one off the blocks, which you, you can see it a little bit here. I'm like the yeah. very last one to get off because my reaction time is absolutely terrible. You should come in and do reaction drills with us. <laughs> I should. <laughs> I need it. But, yeah, I can see that. So this girl is leaning forward. This one, yeah, you're right. You really are. You're behind everybody already. Yeah. But even so, I mean, my God, you could probably drop, what, another second off your 200 and your 100 breaststroke if you lean forward. I know. Yeah, see, my head is yeah. behind everyone else. Yeah, that's all right. And then you hit the water, and then you do your streamline. 
And then right away, comparing your first lap to your last lap, you look exactly the same. You look really, you look good. I try to, because that, that's the whole point of me, like, gliding in the beginning is so that I can still get up high out of the water and be able to shoot my arms forward instead of being exhausted and kind of just <laughs> trying to make it to the wall. Yeah. So what, like, for breaststroke, because a, a lot of the kids that we work with um, want to know, like, how to swim breaststroke faster and stronger so do you have like any tips or tricks or something that you've found that really works well for you to keep you so far in front of everybody in these races? I mean, well, real, really like with my legs, right? Breaststroke is a really leg powered stroke. But if you see me swimming, uh, like the 500 or the mile, for example, I don't kick at all. My legs are not, you know, the strongest that they could be. But I really try and take advantage of all the energy that I have in my legs in these breaststroke events and really, like, make sure that I'm pushing through every single kick because I know that that's, you know, an important part of it. But also, um, when I was younger, uh, we had a woman who essentially trained us um, into becoming breaststrokers, and she kind of emphasized the reaching and then kicking it's not both at the same time it should be arms first and um can you explain that a little bit more the the what arms first and then legs arms and then legs yeah because that's that's what i find um it's not like it's an everyday thing with the breaststrokers but i think as the younger swimmers are becoming breaststrokers that turns into a a tough point for them and, and a lot of them get stuck in that area okay um i mean I kind of have to like act it out, but I guess, well, you know, obviously the, the catch is here. Right. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I'm like maybe halfway through actually fully extending my arms, that's when I start my kick. Cause if it's at the same time, you don't get, you know, a longer like extended amount of power, essentially it's all at once and it kind of just fades out and, doesn't work as well and you get a lot more glide too if you kick after you've started your stroke yeah that's big big deal and Mm -hmm. then um so uh uh-oh hold on a second i'm gonna have to go for like 30 seconds okay that's fine all right hold on sorry no it's okay Fifteen seconds. No, just the bag of Skittles or the Pez. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, Kashi's sugar's dropping. So. Oh, okay, okay. She's got a lot of insulin on board, and my phone just went off, so she needs a little bit of sugar. Oh. So, and of course, she's in the bathroom now, because, you know, the worst time for me to be going in and giving her something to eat is when she's in the bathroom. <laughs> so. Yeah, either the full bag of Skittles or the Pez, one or the other. I thought you meant, like, I was asking about, like, yeah one yeah one or the other all right love you babe okay i'm sorry so no, that's okay. um yeah and is teak still there no he he went downstairs oh i'm just trying to think of some other things that the swimmers always um they always have difficult time i mean they all know that 80 percent of your breaststroke power comes from your kick so kick is really important and you know your pull and your breathing and making sure your chin stays low and throwing everything out do you do any special type of workouts for breaststroke when you're at the pool or any kind of special dry land workouts for breaststroke um well i think teague mentioned that he had told you about this but um our coaches well our new coach is not 
very big on lifting, especially for the distance swimmers. So that's what I was, I guess, considered as throughout the year. So I never went into the, the weight room this past year. But in years before, we would do a lot of like squats, a lot of leg stuff because, you know, the legs are yeah. the most important part, arguably. And then um, this year with John, our new coach, we would do a lot of power towers. So the whole strap yourself in and then there's weights and you sprint down the pool with this, a lot of weight dragging you down. And that, that makes you a lot more powerful too. So you mean to use the yellow buckets or to use the weights? Like what's a power tower? Um, so it's like, it, it, it is the yellow buckets, but you get like a, a belt essentially that you wrap around yourself and then that belt has a wire that's connected to the bucket yeah and you have to you know as you go down the pool you get further from it and then the buckets are lifting as you're swimming mm -hmm. down the pool do you use those a lot um yeah he he tried to a lot more often than we did with our old coach yeah um which i think helped a lot but we also did a lot of like um i would have like six 200s on like 315 and they were supposed to all be fast and things like that or like 100 sets with on like 120 or 125 like 10 100s just a lot of consistent over and over and over again so that once you do just one 100 and a race for real you're kind of just like i've done this 10 times in a row i can i can do it once and be even better yeah yeah, I've heard all positive things about John, the coach that's over at Auburn right now. I've met him a couple yeah, times. He's he awesome. seems like a, he seems like a really nice guy. So yeah, we like him a lot. Yeah. So one last question, and then we'll go. If you could tell the younger swimmers one or two things that would really help them improve their breaststroke, like what would that one thing be, or like one or two things be? Sorry, I knew I kind of threw this one out of left field at you. Sorry. No, no, that's okay. I mean, I think really it's it's about finding your rhythm. You have to try a bunch of different things. And I know for me, it took a really long time to figure out the right timing for my arms and my legs because it's unique for everybody. You have to be willing to test different arm positions, different leg positions, different timing, different head position. And although all the rules are pretty similar, it, it's unique to everybody. So I think that's, that's the one thing. Find, find your own rhythm. Yeah. Time. That's what I tell the swimmers. There's, there's like a right way to even just what's, or say we'll do breaststroke for doing breaststroke, but then you have to kind of find your specific way to do breaststroke. And it might be a little different than the swimmer next to you. And I think that's exactly what you're saying. You have to find what works for you and what your rhythm is. Mm -hmm. That's important. Yeah. yeah. So guys, I think um, maybe in the comment section or you guys have been texting me questions and then um, I actually opened up the Snapchat also. So, <laughs> but the Snapchat is tier one swimming. And if you guys have any questions for Julie for the breaststroke, she's the one to ask. She's, she's pretty fast, obviously. I mean, look at this. She's, you're so far ahead of everybody. It looks so good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't think Teague was that far in front of everybody when he was doing his races. So anyway, and then another important thing, lastly, is that you're totally exhausted here. You can see it and when you tip your head back. You're tired. But that was good. Yeah, really, really good. Um, all right, Julie. So what I'll do is I'll stop screen recording, and then um, we'll just hang out for like another minute. And then that's, that's right. it. Yeah. All right, guys. Send those comments over i'm sure julie would love to answer them all yeah of course <laughs> uh how do i stop oh wait hold on oh, is it not recording oh it is Whew.